Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. So today we're going to explore the brand of El Ateliero a little bit. And El Ateliero is a brand based in the Black Forest here in Germany, actually quite near the place where I live. And Rudi, the owner of the brand and also the perfume of the fragrances, was kind enough to send me the five fragrances of his masculine fragrance line. And you know, in the last two weeks I had time to test them, I know how they smell, I know how they perform. And you know, I want to give you guys a, a small overview of what they smell like and what this brand has to offer. So, without further ado, let's start with the first fragrance. So the first fragrance I want to show you is called The One. And no, this is not a clone or a copy of Dolce Gabbana's The One. It goes in a completely different direction. So how does this thing smell? Yeah, you get this, this blast of freshness and fruitiness. You get maritime notes, you get orange. And to me this is like this, this high quality shower gel like fragrance. And I think this scent also features uh, a ambergris note and guayak wood note. But it's not really prominent, you don't really get woods in this scent. It's, I think it, it just helps to provide some masculinity to the fragrance. And you know, very, very versatile. This is like your signature spring, summer, daytime fragrance. Performance is also nice for a fresh scent like this. And you know, this is, this is a very nice fragrance. Very likable. It might not be very unique smelling, but uh, quality wise, smell wise, performance wise, a great fragrance. This is the one. Next up is Irresistible Man. And as written on their website, this scent is for all the men out there that are spreading like this positive and inspirational vibe around them. And to me, this scent, yeah, the, the lavender note in this one is the most prominent to my nose. And it is only featured in the opening, but you can really smell it throughout the whole scent life of the fragrance. And the opening is very fresh. It has bergamot, this lavender note. It's a little green smelling, herbal smelling. You get some spices in here with cinnamon and cardamom. You also get a mint note in the note breakdown, but they're not really noticeable to me. And you know, to me, this is, this is really a fragrance for all the men out there that are creative, that paint or you know, that take inspiration from everything they can find. This is, this is what this fragrance smells like. Beautiful and perfect for the upcoming springtime. So if you are a fan of lavender, I'm a big fan of lavender, then definitely try out Irresistible Men. The next fragrance is the most masculine from the five and the masculinity expresses itself through leather. The scent is called Urban Leather. So as you guys know, I am a, a huge fan of the note of leather and this is, a, this is leather to the fullest. Yeah, it's so good. It reminds me on Ombre Leather, but where Ombre Leather had more of this like floral, smooth jasmine note on top. This one also has jasmine, but it's it's more of a rough smell. You know, it's it's a it's a rough leather smell, but at the same time elegant, beautiful. You get some, I get some boozy notes in this one as well. So leather mixed with uh, resinous notes, with uh, boozy notes. The scent also features berries in the note breakdown. And yes, it's also a little sweet smelling. It's this very leathery, sweet, boozy, resinous smelling fragrance. This is for, for, the, for, every, for every masculine man out there, if, if you ask me. Beautiful. And once again, the performance, like with all of, their, with all of, of the fragrances they offer, they're all Extrait de Parfum concentrations, so that the performance is really good. You get definitely seven, eight or more hours of performance. So the quality is great, the smell is great, they perform well, and they're also affordable. The fourth fragrance I want to show you is called Victorious. And by now, most brands have a fragrance like this in their catalog. Tiziana Terenzi has Orion, Nishane has Hachivat, Amav has Club de Nuit Intense, and El Ateliero has Victorious. I think you can guess which fragrance I mean. It's Creed Aventus. And this scent 
yeah, it's like a mix of Sauvage and Aventus. <laughs> uh, you get pineapple, the pineapple is, is very dominant in this scent. You get mossy notes, you get ambergris, so, you know, very similar to, to Creed Aventus. It's a little more on the citrusy side of things, so not really smoky smelling, but, you know, I mean, there's a reason why Aventus gets copied so often nowadays. The scent DNA just works. People like it, it's very enjoyable, and so is Victorious. Very enjoyable scent, great for like summertime, evening out, going to a bar. This is, ex is exactly what this fragrance smells to me. And the last fragrance in the lineup is called Le Provocateur, or in English, The Provoker. And smell-wise, this is probably the most interesting fragrance from the lineup. I get this sweet, fruity rose note mixed with amber. And I think what makes this scent so special is the arrangement of the notes. Because in this scent, you get the rose, the tonka bean and the cinnamon in the opening. And usually you get these kind of notes more in the mid or in the base. But in this case, the fruity and fresh notes with the mandarin and the grapefruit are used in the mid. And I think this, this arrangement of notes just makes this scent so unique, so unique and special smelling. Le Provocateur is once again a very fresh and fruity smelling fragrance. And you know, the only scent in this lineup that screams masculinity and is really intense is Urban Leather. But with this one, you get this rose vibe, this powdery rose vibe plus amber and definitely the most unique smelling fragrance from the five. And probably currently, besides Urban Leather, my favorite. That was my presentation of the fragrances by El Ateliero. Thank you, Rudy. Thank you for contacting me. Thank you for sending me your fragrances. It was a pleasure to review them, to test them. And I'm really looking forward to what your brand has to offer in the future. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye. <laughs>